Today I will recap a 2023 horror thriller film named The Pope's Exorcist. Before we start, it is a request to please like and comment on the video as it will help us to grow our reach. When we make fun of the devil and tell ourselves that he doesn't exist, that's when he's happiest. The movie begins on June 4, 1987, in the city of Tropia, Italy. Father Gabriel Amorth, chief exorcist of the Vatican, is called to a house where he is told that the boy's actions clearly show that he is possessed by the devil. We are then shown the possessed boy, who tells father that he is the devil and that he is not afraid of the hypocritical god. Father says that if he is a devil then he should tell his name, and why did he choose this boy instead of some powerful person? The devil says that he can possess anyone, and only then a pig is brought there. Father tells the devil that he doesn't believe him and he can't even possess this pig. He provokes him a lot, and as soon as the devil possesses the pig, he is shot, and father asks the boy to relax because the devil is gone. After this, we see Julia, who is shifting from America to Spain with her daughter Amy and son Henry. They arrive at their new house which is undergoing renovation, where they meet Carlos, and he introduces Julia to Father Thomas. Here we come to know that this church has been the ancestral property of Julia's husband's family for many generations which they have inherited, and her husband passed away about one year ago. Meanwhile, Henry goes to the basement while inspecting the house, where he sees a hole in the wall, and through it, he sees something that has the Vatican symbol. Later, Julia goes to Amy's room and tells her that they have absolutely no money, so after repairing they will sell this church and go back to America, and asks her to take care of her brother till then. Now on July 2, 1987, Father Gabriel is called to Rome for questioning. Here Cardinal Sullivan asks him about the exorcism he did in Tropia because he did it without the bishop's permission. Father Gabriel says that the boy was mentally ill and he just played with his mind. Bishop Lumumba supports him saying that Father Gabriel refers 98% of cases to doctors and psychiatrists. Father Gabriel says he is a practical man and asks them what is this all about. To which Suvalin says that the Congregation of the Doctrine of the Faith has recommended to this panel that the position of the chief exorcist should formally be abolished. Gabriel asks him does he mean that the devil does not exist. To which Suvalin says that the church is under constant pressure to show people the path of hope and they have to leave behind such outdated beliefs. Father asks them isn't it about the dead girl Rosaria that he wrote about in the magazine. Suvalin warns him to talk to his seniors with respect, to which Gabriel says he is the chief exorcist of the Vatican and his position was given to him by his bishop, so if they have any problem with him, then he should talk to the Pope. Later that evening, in the basement of Julia's house, a worker hears some sound from the hole in the wall, and as he lights the torch to peep inside, there is an explosion, in which he gets badly burnt. Carlos tells Julia that there is a lot of danger in this work, so they will not work here anymore. Meanwhile, Henry begins having seizures, and when Julia comes there, he suddenly gets up and says that they are all going to die, and then he starts scratching his face. He is immediately taken to the hospital for a checkup, where Julia is told that all his test results are normal. They ask her if her child ever had any deep trauma, to which she tells them that his father died a year ago and he hasn't spoken since. The doctor tells her that Henry is suffering from psychosis and advises her to see a good psychiatrist. Later that night, the house lights go off and Henry suddenly gets up. Julia goes to him thinking that he might get scared, and on the other hand, Amy goes to the basement to switch on the lights. Henry grabs Julia's breast which shocks her, and Henry says he is hungry so let him breastfeed. He then pushes her back, and shows them the hate engraved on his tummy, and then he tells them to call the priest. They call Father Thomas for help, but as he enters the room, Henry throws him out and says they sent the wrong priest. On the other hand, Gabriel meets Pope, who says they have done their job well till today, but Cardinal Sullivan and today's generation do not believe in Satan. He then tells him about Henry's case that he has to solve, and he is afraid that there is some dangerous devil out there that only he can find out. He asks him to go to Spain immediately to help the child. Father Gabriel then reaches Spain, where he meets Father Thomas. Thomas gets very happy to meet him and tells him that he has read all his articles. He then brings him to Julia's house, where he asks her what the doctors have told her about Henry, and if she wants, he can give his opinion after seeing him, and then she can do whatever she thinks is right. Father Gabriel then goes to Henry's room and tries to communicate with him, but Henry does not answer him. Now when Father starts the prayers sitting next to him, Henry opens his eyes and says that his prayer is of no use here. Father goes near him and shows him the Benedictine medal, due to which the demon's eyes are revealed in no time. Father asks him who is he and why did he choose this boy only, to which he says he is his biggest fear and he enjoys ruining this boy's innocence, but he'll have more fun ruining a priest. He says that he has come here for him and he knows everything about him. Father Gabriel asks him to tell his name if he is not afraid of him, on which he says that he is not stupid who will enter into a pig. After this, taking his name, he asks whether he should tell his terrible dream. Now a flashback is shown here in which all of Gabriel's comrades were killed during the Second World War, and instead of fighting the enemy, 
He lay down among the dead soldiers like a coward. Henry then vomits a bird out of his mouth, and seeing this Gabriel gets scared. The demon tells him that be sure his sin will find him out and they will meet again soon. Gabriel tells Thomas that this devil knows things that he should not know. He wants to know why he chose that child and for this, he has to talk to his mother. He then tells Julia that his son has been possessed by a very dangerous demon and that taking him away can be fatal. He asks her if there was any accident with Henry, to which she tells him he had seen his father die and he was deeply shocked by this. Father promises that he will not walk away from them, and the trauma she described could be a gateway for the devil. Suffering can make a soul desperate for connection, which can make the innocent more vulnerable. Meanwhile, Amy hears some noises from outside and she comes outside to check thinking it might be Henry. She comes to Henry's room where Henry suddenly wakes up, which scares Amy and she runs away to her room. Just then her room phone rings and when she picks up the phone, her dad is on the other side who tells her that they will all die. She runs to her mother and tells her that dad called and said that they will all die. Later, Gabriel tells Thomas that this demon is very powerful, so the child will not survive for long. To exorcise the demon, they need to find its name, and it's the only way they can save the child. Father Gabriel prepares Thomas for the exorcism, explaining that all he has to do is pray and not talk to the demon. They then go to Henry's room, where the demon tries to distract Gabriel by reminding him of the war incident. However, Gabriel ignores him, and after asking Thomas to start the prayer, he starts the exorcism. Now because Thomas had not seen all this before, he was a bit scared, and then the lights in the room go off. Gabriel takes out a lighter from his pocket and lights it, and suddenly Rosalia appears in front of him and says his sins will seek him out. Father says his sins have been forgiven, to which she says but he can't forgive himself, and not even from her, whom he allowed to die. She asks him why didn't he believe her and now she is in hell. She then falls on the bed, and Gabriel sees that now everything is as before. Henry gets up and asks him did he enjoy it. After this, he reveals Thomas's sin about Adela and how much her family used to respect him, but he f***ed their daughter. This enraged Thomas and he tries to strangle Henry, but Gabriel explains to him that this is the devil's trick. Thomas then leaves the room, and before Gabriel leaves, the devil tells him that he has been tricked and is now trapped, and now he will destroy him. Now Thomas tells Gabriel that Adela wanted him to leave the priesthood, but he had no intention of doing so, so he had to lie to her. Gabriel asks him if he regrets what he did, to which he says yes, and Gabriel prays to God to forgive his sins. Gabriel then tells him about Rosaria, the girl whom he could not save, and this devil is deceiving him with her memories. Only then he remembers that the devil had told him that he is now trapped, and he realizes that the devil does not want Henry, but his intention is something else. He says he is going to the park because he saw something there and tells him to keep an eye on Henry. Now in the park, he finds the Vatican seal and remembers that the Pope had told him that the church had problems before at that place. Meanwhile, the cross in Julia's room turns upside down, and we see that someone is with her on her bed, and as soon as she wakes up, he attacks her and starts pulling her inside the bed. Thomas is reading prayers when Henry calls him for help, so he enters his room to check on him. Now as he goes close to him, Henry suddenly wakes up and bites his ear and says that no one will escape from here alive. Here some unseen force throws Amy away from her bed, fearing that she locks herself in her closet, but even there she gets attacked and pulled away. Father Gabriel finds a well under the Vatican seal, and when he drops a burning paper inside to check what's inside, there is a huge explosion. Now when he returns home, they hear Julia and Amy's screams from their room, and he tells Thomas to check on Amy. Gabriel enters Julia's room and helps her out, after which when he comes to help Amy, they see that some invisible force is attacking her. He asks it to leave Amy in the name of God and manages to expel the demon. They then take them to the church, considering the house is not safe for them, after which, Gabriel takes Thomas to show that well and Thomas sees that there is a seal of the Spanish court inside it. Gabriel says that it was the worst period in the history of the church and all these are the victims who did not change their religion. They then go to the basement, where they see that broken wall, and behind that, they find the stamp of the Vatican. They also realize that there is sulfur gas which can be fatal, and when Gabriel starts to break down that wall, the devil wakes up. Gabriel and Thomas then find a secret chamber, and he tells Thomas that this is the tunnel of sin. Seeing the ring of the dead body kept in the middle, he says that this is the cardinal protector who was the last hope of the church. He also tells him that he is not imprisoned in the cage but it is for his protection and it is done when the exorcism fails so that he can be safe from the absconding devils and bury this secret forever. Meanwhile in Rome, during his investigation, the Pope finds a letter from the Cardinal Protector informing them of their worst fears. A powerful evil sees the Abbey of San Sebastian, and he must be buried forever. All exorcism attempts failed. Satan took over the place, and have never seen such a powerful demon, and while reading this, the Pope gets a heart attack. He is taken to the hospital, where Pope asks Bishop Lumumba to inform Gabriel, and when Sullivan asks him what trouble has Gabriel got them into this time. 
Pope vomits blood on him. Father Gabriel takes out a key from the stomach of the Cardinal Protector and asks Thomas to open a door. They enter the tunnel where sulfur content is high and Gabriel says they are very close to hell. They then find Father Ojito's corpse there, and he tells Thomas that he was one of the greatest exorcists of that time. They get a book from him that has the sign of the Spanish court, and from that book, they come to know that this devil has possessed many people for many centuries. In 1475 the devil had possessed the father as well, and whatever happened after that was all done by the devil, and the Vatican must know about it. Here they understand why devil said that his sin will seek him out and that the renovation work must have set the devil free. After that, that devil was imprisoned in the underworld and his 200 angels were also with him. They all were buried in hell and this church is one of those wretched places. Here in the church, Julia wakes up and finds that Amy is not there, so she goes back to her house to check on her. There she finds Amy sitting in Henry's room with him, and they both together say that Henry is fine. Julia asks Amy to walk downstairs with her, but Henry angrily refuses. Julia tries to take Amy away, but the devil throws her away and starts strangling her. He then also takes Amy's body under his control and twists her head. Meanwhile, as Gabrielle learns that the devil's name is Asmodeus, Demon screams out loud, and the Pope's health deteriorates. Here Amy and Julia were also freed and Amy immediately injects sedatives into Henry which Julia had brought with her, causing him to faint. Here Gabriel says that the devil has done evil things through Ojeda, and he wants to do the same thing again by possessing him. However, now they know his name, so they can defeat him and save the child. He then confesses that during the war he became a rebel, and many of his friends became victims of German bullets, but he survived. And then he thought that now he will spend his life in the service of God. But when he went for Rosaria's exorcism, he didn't believe her. Rosaria told him that the devil f***s her at night, and when he asks her what this devil looks like, she says like him, and then she eats him live bird in front of him. She was not possessed but mentally disturbed, so he gave her case to someone else because he was arrogant, so she committed suicide in front of him. After her death, he heard the rumors of sexual abuse that were covered by Vatican City. He needed her but he didn't help her, and her burden is her soul and the devil knows that. They then return to the house for exorcism, and Gabriel tells them to remember that Satan will use their sin against them, so don't believe everything they see and hear. They then go to Henry's room, where the devil has completely possessed him, and he asks them whether all have confessed their sins. Gabriel and Thomas start the exorcism, but the devil says that there is no point in confessing to his god, because he should be confessing to Rosaria. Gabriel sees Rosaria hanging upside down on the ceiling above Henry's bed, and he tries to convince himself that this is not the reality. Satan then tries to distract Thomas by showing him Adela, but Gabriel asks him to pray. Gabriel now takes the name of the devil and asks him to leave the child, and then Thomas also joins him. Together they start reciting prayers, which weakens the devil and he faints after screaming loudly. Everything then calms down, and Henry calls his mother for help, to which Gabriel asks her to keep talking to Henry as he needs his mother's love. But then Henry closes his eyes, and Gabriel sees God is not here getting scratched on his abdomen. Only then do they find out that the devil has now possessed Amy, seeing whom they all get terrified, and Amy climbs on the wall in front of them. She then jumps down in front of Julia, and Henry tells Gabriel to fulfill his wish. But when he says no, Amy begins attacking Julia, and when Thomas tries to go save her, the devil hangs him with his own stole. Gabriel tells the devil that he has enmity with him, so he should let those children go, to which the devil says that all this is happening because of him and that he should decide soon. Gabriel agrees to be his slave, after which the devil starts possessing him and releases everyone else. Thomas asks him why he did this, but Gabriel orders him to immediately take them away from there. Thomas drops Julia and her kids outside and tells them to leave saying that Henry is fine now. Here we see Gabriel fighting with the demon and saying that he can't command him, and then he hangs himself, but the demon doesn't let him commit suicide and saves him. Gabriel then goes to the catacomb, so that he can burn the devil with him, but before he can do so, Mother Mary appears there and Gabriel bows down to her. However, it again turns out to be the demon's trick and he attacks him in the form of Rosaria. Now after some time when Thomas comes to the catacombs looking for Gabriel, he finds him sitting on the throne. The devil tells him that his friend is no more, so now he too should run away from here. Thomas asks Gabriel to fight the devil, but this enraged the devil and he says Gabriel is not here. Thomas doesn't give up and reminds father who he is, causing the devil's grip on Gabriel to weaken. The devil then levitates him in the air, and Thomas begins to read prayers, and as soon as he notices that the demon is getting weak, he orders him to leave Gabriel's body. The devil then screams out loud before leaving Gabriel's body, but then it comes there in the form of Rosaria and throws Thomas away. It then brings Adele there who starts attacking Thomas, but Thomas puts that sacred locket on her head, which destroys her. He then passes the crucifix to Gabriel and he uses it to exorcise the devil and throws her away. They then begin the final ritual and both of them together start reciting prayers, due to which the devil gets imprisoned back in hell. 
Now a few days later, Gabriel takes Thomas to the Pope, where the Pope praises their work. He also tells him that Cardinal Sullivan is gone and Bishop Lumumba is the new Cardinal. Lumumba tells them that the Vatican bought that church from the Vasquez family and completely sanctified it. The family made it back to America safely, and the child is all right now. They defeated Asmodeus, but there are still many demons left, and very soon they will find all 199 of those places in the world. He asks Gabriel if he will complete this task, on which he asks Thomas if he would like to do this with him, and he agrees. Please like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon never to miss new video updates. Thanks for watching.